Hi, I'm Jamie Peterbaugh from Kit Peterbaugh's Aviar Golf Academy in Carlsbad, California, and you're watching the SCGA Swing Tip. In today's topic of the swing tip, I want to bring up a recent fad that's been going around in the golf instruction world where people are trying to preach to keep your lower body stable as you go back and try to jump to create power on the way through. This, in my opinion, is going to create um, unnecessary movements in the golf swing that's going to cause a little bit of a lack of balance and a loss of power during the golf swing. So rather than trying to go down that route of keeping your legs still and jumping, I want to introduce you to two common elements that we see from the best players in the world in their lower body action. The two elements would be balance, and then the second would be leg support. So if I could help you understand balance, I'd just demonstrate it this way, where if you're starting with weight in the middle of your feet, you're going to be turning back, and you're going to notice that there's some weight that goes into the inside of your right heel and to the inside of your, right, your left toe. So as you swing through and you're turning your hips this way, you're going to get some weight that starts to roll out into the outside of your left heel. So that would be balance. When showing people leg support, what I like to do with students is actually take a TheraBand out. And you can find TheraBands at a lot of stores around where I actually take the TheraBand and I'll wrap it around the player's knees like this. So you want your feet fairly close together and then you're just going to actually tie a little bit of a knot right here. So when you take your stance, you're actually going to create some tension inside of this band. And you want to try to maintain that throughout most of your golf swing. So as I take my setup, I'm going to go ahead and swing it back and I can actually keep this band stretched out. And then as I'm turning through, even just past the hitting area, I can keep some support in my legs. So what we see through a lot of players is a, a laundry list of problems where they can tend to swing back, the band would kind of give out on the way back, and then there's also times where the band is going out on the way through. Okay, so once you have the therapy band on, I want you to go ahead and make a couple practice swings trying to feel that with this staying stretched out as you're turning back, you can still feel some support. And then as you swing through, you're gonna finally let the knee kind of release and it'll eventually go. But what I want you to understand is even great players such as a Jack Nicholas or a Sam Snead did have their legs and their hips turned quite a bit, even with their heel lifting up, but they'd still maintain some good support out of their lower body. So once you take a couple practice swings, you'll set on in and you're actually going to try to hit a couple balls that way. So trying to keep that support is going to help out your balance and enable your hips to actually try to function properly through the golf ball. Thanks again for joining us. I'm Jamie Peterbot, and we'll see you again for the next SCGA Swing Tip.